Hey guys, Brian here like always. I got a few requests about my swing arm review uh, from At2M and Gravy Vector. Sorry if I butchered your guys' names. But they wanted to know about follow-up videos or what I changed about how I mounted my um, swing arm. So I figured today I'll go ahead and uh, do a follow-up video. So if you'd like to see what I did differently, pay attention to this next episode of Chanley Style. My biggest issue with the mounting arm was that it didn't come with the right hardware. It was a Phillips screw that you really couldn't torque it down very hard. It wasn't long enough to actually seat the wall properly. It didn't come with any washers, so it didn't really displace the torque once I got it down, so that the mount moved even with the screws as tight as they could go. And the screws were not self-tapping. Those were my biggest issues. So I went out, actually got these from Home Depot. It's called Drive Straight Screws. And you can probably go to Lowe's because they sell screws individually, but I couldn't find any individuals at Home Depot. But these ones actually have the self-tap. The washers that they come with, let's see if I can get it close enough, have a rubber grommet on there. That's really useful um, in supporting the mount so it doesn't move once it's on the wall. I got the hex tips because you can really put some torque on those and these are three inches long. If you can't get it to seat in a stud properly with a three inch long screw, then you're doing it wrong. Well, so that's the hardware. Let me show you what it ended up looking like. As you can probably tell, the monitor looks a lot more level. But the problem was is that the shims in the actual mount aren't that great. So the monitor kind of wobbles a little bit even when it's tightened all the way down. But with a greater gap in between the monitor with in between the two monitors, it's not as noticeable when it tilts. Let me move it up a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like in the wall. As you can see, the mount fits flush. I made sure to zip tie the cords back so that they don't dangle and hit the desk or the monitor below it. And I moved it up far enough so that it's not always hitting my acoustic foam. Just in case I didn't say it, these are actually drive straight screws and they worked really well. I didn't have to worry about them scooting along the drywall like the other screws did. Once I pushed them in, the, they went in like butter. The self tapping action grabbed the stud right away and pulled the screw in without any effort. I didn't really even have to hold the mount once I had it, uh, the top part secured. It was really easy to level it, not like with the hardware that it came with. These screws actually worked so well, my hand drill didn't have enough torque to finish them out, so I had to hand tighten them with a wrench afterwards. But I can't complain. Like you saw, it doesn't really move. It's in there. And I'm, I'm a lot happier with the mount now that the uh, project's completed better. I wouldn't say it's still the greatest, but like I said, I think I only paid 20 bucks for that mount, and I, I really shouldn't complain. Once again, I really appreciate your guys' comments. They inspire me to keep making videos, so keep it up. Keep sending me videos, keep sending me likes, and I'll keep putting stuff out there. Don't forget to uh, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and um, can't wait to see you guys next on the uh, next episode of Chanley Style.